What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Edward Lee. I'm a filmmaker and photographer. And in this video, I wanna share with you guys how I turn kind of like my old messy closet into this here kind of like gear closet. I don't really know who needs to see this, but I'm gonna take you guys to the step-by-step -step process that I went through. And I wanna share with you guys how I did it. I recorded the whole process, so let's get right into it. to pull this little closet build off what you're going to need is a leveler a stud finder a power drill some strong wood screws uh, a circular saw and obviously the 2x4 lumber for supports and then the metal sheets or plywood as I'll explain the alternative option uh, later in the video and depending on if you have current existing shelves in your closet and you need to kind of patch in those holes you're going to need some spackling paste and a putty knife and some paint to cover up any kind of blemishes uh, so you can have a clean finished product. So the first step is to clean out your closet of anything and everything. And this is a good time to throw away things you might not need in your closet, but regardless, you have to pull everything out and put it aside so you can have an empty canvas to work with. The second step is to remove any kind of shelving that might already be there. Uh, commonly, a lot of these closets and homes have like the kind of wire shelving. And so what I did was I just pulled them out. And then after you pull out the wire shelving, whatever shelving you already have in there, there's obviously gonna be some holes in the wall. So this is a good time to take some spatula clean paste uh, and fill in those holes uh, in, in the drywall and actually um, sand them down and then paint it over so that all the walls are completely blank without any holes in them. The next step is to actually mark up the wall and kind of visually see where you want the shelves, you know, how much distance you want between them and maybe take a few of your tallest items, what you want to put into the closet and actually measure out um, how tall you want the shelves. This is important because, you know, you don't want to commit to making it too low or too tall and it's not going to be what you want because in this whole process, once you commit, you kind of have to go for it. Quick note too is that not all closets are built perfectly square. So make sure you do take a tape measure and measure every single shelf and how much distance there is in the back wall and the sides, because it's not gonna be the same for all three, at least it wasn't for me. Um, so make sure you're pretty meticulous about the measurements you do capture for all three shelves or more shelves if you're trying to add more than three. I just had three for mine, so I ended up with three separate measurements. So I ordered all my metal from this website called onlinemetals.com and literally you can choose your specific type of metal, the thickness, the dimensions, the exact dimensions and place your order and they ship it right to your door. Uh, or for me, um, they have a warehouse out here in Seattle where they're based and so I just went over there and picked up the metal myself and it was a really seamless process. Metal overall can get kind of pricey but um, it is high quality and you will get something that will last and also just the convenience of their website and being able to order the exact size and the exact material and thickness that you need is really clutch. So as far as the actual material that I got, I got 3 16 inch um, hot rolled steel metal sheets. Uh, with the exact dimensions that I need for this shelving so that I don't have to make any cuts or alter the metal size in any way later. I also ordered some hot rolled steel metal tubes as well from this website and I'll explain in a little bit why I decided to do that. So when I went to go pick up the metal, um, metal is really heavy. <laughs> I did not know how heavy these sheets of metal were and I was high key worried that this was not going to work and I was way in over my head, but by yourself, it's kind of hard to move. So if you do have to move this metal once it gets shipped to your door or you go pick up at warehouse, um, depending on the size, get someone to help you because I struggled. <laughs> now the metal, when I picked it up, it's obviously raw. So it's a little bit dirty and the sides can be a little bit rough. So of course I hit up my good friend, Tyler Bell. Um, he's a maker uh, and a YouTuber out in my area. And he's probably been seen on my channel before on my Instagram, just a rad guy, but he he's just a beast at making things. And so I went to go pay him a visit and he helped me with deburring the metal um, and kind of like cleaning it up. And he also put like a clear coat, a matte clear coat over it so that it's like smooth texture and it will protect the metal from rusting. So if you guys haven't seen any of Tyler's work before, um, yeah, you need to do that. So make sure you go click his um, channel. I'll link it down below. Uh, really rad guy. And he's working on a lot of cool projects. If you've ever watched Mythbusters when you were growing up, he does like crazy inventions and records the whole process. So really uh, go check his stuff out. It's really cool if you're interested in like DIY or making things. Now going back to why I got the metal tubes. 
the 2x4 lumbers will be supporting the metal um, shelf but on the front side it's like hollow there's nothing supporting it so the metal tube it will be welded there and Tyler's gonna weld the metal tube onto the metal sheet so that when you put weight onto the metal shelf it's not caving in or bending uh, because the metal itself even though it is super heavy um, it's kind of thin so depending on how much weight I put on there I wanted to play it safe and so uh, I put the metal tube and Tyler helped me weld it onto the front for that extra support Next, I went to Home Depot and got some 2x4 dimensional lumber. After taking all my measurements, I ended up getting four 8 feet long 2x4s. Um, this will obviously vary depending on the size of your closet and how many shelves you want. So make sure you get the proper measurements and so that you have enough 2x4s to make all the shelving support that you need. Now, at this point of the video, you might be watching and thinking, well, uh, I don't really know any tilers and I don't know how to metal work. Um, I'm nervous about the metal and this might just be like too big of a DIY for me to tackle on my own and I totally can relate to that uh, but just know that's actually not too bad if you just actually take some time to learn like how to prep metal or ship the metal or another alternative would be to um, just use plywood sheets instead of the big metal sheets like I did um, Home Depot you know how you get those big um, sheets of plywood and you can actually you just use your circular saw and cut it to the exact size you need and then when you have the 2 by 4 lumbers instead of putting metal just put wood and then you can actually stain the wood a different color like darker black or mahogany or whatever color you want to do stain it so then you have like wood shelves instead of the metal shelves but pretty much the concept and everything we're going over and the way the shelves are mounted and installed are all pretty much the same but if you want to be cool the extra you can get the metal shelves like this so the next day I took some time using a circular saw to cut the 2x4 lumber to the exact sizes that I needed after I cut the 2x4s to size, I sanded them down with 100 grit sandpaper just to get the texture of the 2x4 wood kind of a little bit softer so that when I do paint them later, they come out uh, more smooth because if you just paint wood without sanding it down, it might come out a little rough. Um, so this isn't necessary, but if you want the wood to be smooth and the paint to you know go on easily, I would recommend sanding it even with 100 or 120 grit sandpaper. So at this point of the process, you should have all the metal prepped and all the wood prepped and everything should be set to be put into the closet and it's time to build the shelves now. Now before mounting everything onto the walls, take some time to actually use a stud finder and kind of scan the walls to see where the studs are. Basically they're the structural supports of the house and you wanna actually drill your screws into the studs um, this is really important because if you don't drill into the studs and you just drill into drywall, that shelf will come smashing down and you will be a very not happy camper. So make sure you look for the studs so that when you do kind of screw these two by fours onto the wall, you screw at points where there's studs so that it can support a lot of weight uh, no matter what you put on top of the shelf. So after confirming where all the studs are in the wall, that's when you're gonna want to install two by four wood into the studs in your closet. And in order to do that, I use a power drill and these heavy duty screws that I found at Home Depot. I think they're actually used for like outdoor decking, but these screws will be super heavy duty um, for the closet and you don't have to worry about them falling out. Keep in mind when you are installing the two x four onto the wall, use a leveler when you're doing this uh, and throughout this process so that you can make sure that all your shelves will end up straight. This entire process of like installing the two x fours and leveling and screwing was kind of tough to do all by myself. I kind of struggled for a little bit, um, but if you have another person, this process will go by a lot quicker and a lot easier. So as you guys can tell, the very top shelf that I have is um, half the size of the bottom two. And so the side pieces of the two x four only need to be 12 inches, even though the length is the same. I wanted to have the top one not be the same as the bottom two as because the opening for the closet actually goes deeper. So I want it to be a half C or a half shelf so I can put boxes and things like that on top. So after you get the two by fours all installed into your closet, ready for the shelving, before you actually put the shelving on top or the sheets of metal or plywood, um, this is when you're gonna wanna paint the um, two by fours to match the color of your closet. Now this step isn't necessary, but if you want the closet to look clean and minimal, I would highly recommend painting the two by fours uh, the same color as your closet so you don't see like the wood um, supports below the shelving. So last but not least, uh, my brother came over at night and helped me bring these heavy metal shelves up the stairs. We finally were able to get it into the closet. This was kind of a major struggle because the actual size of the shelf is larger 
than the closet opening or at least for mine it is um, because there's like more space on the inside so we actually had to like shimmy it in it's kind of a struggle and you might have to play with it a little bit but after you wiggle around with it with the help of one other person you should be able to get it done fairly quickly and that pretty much wraps up the install as you guys can see it's so much better than my last setup that i was rocking my last setup i just shoved everything in the closet and just never really was excited about opening my closet but with this setup it's a lot more functional i was able to tuck away all my bags my cases and what i like about this setup and what i did intentionally was i put the shelf at kind of like mid-level so that i can use it as a gear shelf and so i could put my cameras here build the camera rigs whenever i have to put on cages or plates or anything like that and because it also gets so dark in the closet and there's no light really um, i got this little cheap led light bar from amazon uh, it has magnets on the bottom and it has three different uh, light brightness settings and it just clips right on to the bottom of the top shelf because it's metal and this way i'm able to illuminate kind of the whole camera setup but for now, this was a pretty rewarding build process. Um, I did not expect it to take that long, but I'm really excited about how it turned out. I think it looks great, matches the entire aesthetic of the room. And uh, make sure you subscribe, because I will be doing a home office tour soon that kind of goes over every single detail of this home office. I'm really excited to share that with you guys, but hopefully you took something away from this video if you're trying to do like a closet build or like a gear shelf or you want to actually utilize your closet and not just shove things in there uh, hopefully you found this video helpful and like i said quick reminder you don't have to use metal if that's kind of an overwhelming part of the process for you you can actually use plywood as well so keep that in mind and you can just stain the wood it'll still look just as good but with that being said thank you so much for watching this video as always uh, if you liked it Make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll also put the links to as much things as I can, including the place where I got the medal down in the description. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to come out with much more YouTube videos in the coming months. And I want you guys to come along on this journey. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.